we say that because I thought about the morning routine a couple days ago. And that's because that's the setup really for the day. Uh, and I'm pretty relentless with my, with my morning routine because when I don't get it, like today, I didn't get it. I feel off. Right. <laughs> so, so that that's that's an important one. Uh, we can line that up. So you got this, you got these lemmings following each other, and they don't even mean to do it. They don't mean to. They've been conditioned to it, and they're not like fighting against the resistance that they're not going to war. So that's my mission with this whole, this whole uh, next season is going to war because we're talking about time being relentless right now. So not that the morning routine is powerful for that because. That's the beginning of going to war for every day. So if your morning is not set up right, then what happens is you just, you're going to repeat the cycle you did yesterday. Well, you know it two years down the line, you're still doing the same shit. So, so if that's you, good. That's good. If you left people with something to think about, so it sounds like you want, you want to offer them some advice by giving them a slight example of what you do um, to control your time in your life. And then you leave them with like homework and then even offer maybe like I mean this is up to you it's just an idea you'd like to hear from them after seeing these episodes talking about time and after they've thought about ways that they can capitalize their time you would love to hear from them and and their ideas and it also kind of brings the interactive Piece together. Yeah, I like that. Where are the clocks at that you're just sitting out in the open? Are those anywhere? Some small town. Like the round rock. Where's the round rock? I've never seen that thing. Where's you the haven't? round clock? So the dogs are multiplying. But everybody loves Max. Everybody loves Max. Max doesn't make it. Can you do the legs again, Max? There they are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Matt. <laughs> yeah. Look at this little, look at, look at the tail. Have you seen the tail on this one? The what? The tail on this one, like it's broken. Yeah, well, yeah, she's. I forgot to cut the hair off that thing. <laughs> the funny part, look. So the tail ends right here. The rest of that's just hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's strange. Look at this dog it's is like, like what? Does is it look majestic? It does. Like, yeah. Like. Where are we going? Uh, we're gonna start by stepping outside and see see what hits us. See this this kind of stuff frustrates me. See this. Oh, what is it? Yeah, what's going on here? Well, I opened this cooler the other day and figured out it still had a bunch of stuff in it that was from, what's that from? Oh, from the competition we did back in November. That's been sitting in that cooler since November. I didn't know it. The cooler was just sitting here. And Anna was out here shuffling around and like I came out here, she's standing on a ladder with that table up there above her head. I'm like, babe, what are you... What are you doing? She's like, well, I'm measuring these tables because she's going to start doing farmer's markets for our salsa. I was like, okay, well, let's put that cooler back up there because that's what goes under that space so the table doesn't fall. And uh, so I go to open the cooler. All the stuff is in there. So it, like, I was in the middle of writing stuff and it just destroyed the energy. So I was like, all right, let me get this ready for you. I took that out. And then the cooler had, still had water in the bottom of it. So I had to pour the water out and then it needed to dry out. And it's still sitting here. <laughs> Fascination. <laughs> So, we filmed all these episodes. I've given you some important information that hopefully has shifted your perspective on time. But now it's time to take some action and implement this stuff. Yeah, these, these, like the honest conversation is, uh, it's what we need more of, for sure. 
I think that's why a lot of people, will, like I'm running into people who are watching these episodes. And I, they're not commenting or, or anything like that, so I wouldn't know, but I've ran into, I, I, it's probably three or four people now just randomly throughout town. and like, oh man, I see the new episodes you're doing. I gotta tell you, like, this is the stuff I needed to hear. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the struggle and how, you know, your time is limited and you could die at any moment. It's like the real conversations that a lot of, I think, leaders and like gurus, experts, they don't want to have, right? They're pumping you up so that you can, you know, buy the next thing or do the next thing, but you haven't dealt with the fact that when you go to do that thing, there's going to be resistance. Like, you're going to have to fight against something. There's going to be a struggle you have to deal with, no matter how much you love it. I love doing this right here, and there are moments where I just want to crawl in a hole. You know, it's real, but the question becomes how do you get through that stuff and that's what I feel like I'm presenting to people is you can feel really shitty sometimes but as long as you have some frameworks and like codes that you live by and follow some simple steps nothing overwhelming just follow some simple steps you can make it through these feelings because they're not going to go anywhere right the resistance isn't going anywhere it's supposed to be here but that's the honest conversation that is not being had and that, that's what I hope I'm shedding some light on. That's the, the little coffee shop on the corner. We'll spend some time in there. There's also this parking garage over here that's interesting to me for some reason. I don't even know why at the moment. We're gonna go find out, see, see what's over there. So where are we? We're in downtown Round Rock. This place has really turned into something special, so. I like to think of it as a place where, uh, like the kind of the older crowd would come. When I say older, I'm talking about 30s and up would come to hang out instead of going down to Sixth Street. You know, they turned it into that kind of spot. You got your bars, and then you got some restaurants that are a little more upscale, and then you have your middle of the road restaurants. They play live music at these places, so. have some honest conversation real quick like I told you in the car on the way over here we've had a lot of conversation over the last three episodes about how time is relentless and I've invited you to be like time be relentless but how do you actually do that so I put some put some thought to that and one of the most important parts of becoming relentless is really taking control of how you start your day. So you've heard a lot of talk about morning routines and what you should do with your routine and people actually giving you their routines. I'm not here to give you my morning routine, but I can tell you my morning routine gives me power and I've had to refine it over time. So I know myself. My mission for you today is to know yourself and how to establish a routine that works for you. Now there is a series of questions. And like I said earlier, if you answer those questions honestly, you'll develop a routine that gives you power every day and does not have you wasting time on things that don't matter to you. It's gonna really make you think. So if you're scared of spending the time to get to know yourself and answering some tough questions, then this is probably not for you. But if you do wanna take over your time, and you want to have more power in your day, and you want to do more things that matter to you, and you want to finally live in a way that you keep thinking about but you haven't taken action on yet, then this, this series of questions is gonna be something that you wanna dive into. Okay, so I'm gonna go sit down and I'm gonna put something together for you that 
is gonna make this easier for you to take action on. Okay, I'll get more, I'll get to that more in a minute, but right now, just know, I'm leading you down a path that's gonna have you take action on knowing yourself more and taking over your time. Because it is relentless and you need to be like time. Here's how you do it. You know, I had every intention of sitting down and writing one thing and something else just started coming out of my fingers. And I ended up with something that I have to share with you because I have the feeling that you need to hear this message. So before I get to the powerful questions for you to answer, I thought it was important for me to lay the context and I wrote a powerful message that I know you need to hear. So having a powerful morning routine is no doubt the greatest way to build intention into your day. It's not sexy, it's easy to overlook, but once you actually get it right, it's life changing. But let's get to the reality. Right now, all you're thinking is, you have a bunch of shit to do today. People's schedules, kids' commitments, Boss's expectations. On top of that, you have to deal with your own fears, doubts, concerns, challenges, desires, and all the things that you're excited about that you just can't get to right now. You have to deal with all that. And tomorrow when you wake up, it's all gonna be there again. So how do you gain control of how you navigate through your day? How do you gain control of how you deal with the challenges that will be presented to you today? How do you gain control of the emotions that are sure to creep up from the asshole that just cut you off on the way to work? It all starts with setting your mind in the right place. It all starts with what you do before you deal with another human every day. It all starts with what you do before you start endlessly scrolling through social media. It all starts with what you do before you turn on the TV and start taking in the news of the day, especially when it has no effect on the mission that you have for your life. It all starts with how you start, your morning routine. You have no doubt heard that a powerful morning routine is the best way to start your day. You've even tried creating a routine that's intentional, only to fall off of it like your New Year's resolution. Now, you find yourself waking up last minute after smashing your snooze button three times, rushing the kids around, hopping in your car, and wondering why everyone else on this damn road isn't in as much of a rush as you are. So you mad dash into work, only to be greeted by an inbox full of other people's stuff. It's all urgent. Your stress levels rise on cue. 
you start smashing through your to-dos, forgetting to eat lunch again, so anxious about completing the day's list. All the while, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, is this really all there is? You're thinking about all the things that would add a load of happiness and joy to your life. You're thinking about your fitness and your health and how you'd like to give more to them. You're thinking about your relationships and how you desire them to be. You're thinking about how you'd like to show up and be more in those relationships and give more to those that you love. You're thinking about your work and how you want to make more impact actually doing work that you love. You know you're not doing that right now and you smile when you think about the possibilities and the feeling that you would have if you just took the leap. You're thinking about all the adventures that you would love to experience. How you would love to travel to this place and that place. How you used to have so much fun doing this, whatever this is, but you stopped doing it. How you used to have a hobby that really filled you up with joy, but you haven't done it for years. How you would really like to connect with more people but you feel stuck in this routine of being around the same people who are always doing the same things. So how do you actually move past this cycle of accepted self-neglect? How do you do it? It all starts with a powerful routine full of intention. To establish it, you must answer these questions. Question number one, what is your current morning routine? Whether you know it or not, you have a routine. So do you grab your phone when you first wake up? Are you checking email? Do you just turn on the TV? Uh, are you turning on the coffee pots? Do you go out and do some exercise? Think of it all. What is everything you do in your morning routine before you get to work? And if you don't work, what is it that you consider your morning routine? Question number two, did you intentionally develop this morning routine or did it just kind of happen? Most people that I've coached through this process, their morning routine just kind of happened to them. So it's my belief that if you're intentional about developing your morning routine, you have a better opportunity to build power consistently. So the question is, did you intentionally develop this morning routine or did it just kind of happen? Question number three. Does your current morning routine make you feel powerful? If you can walk away from your morning routine feeling powerful, then you're more ready to take on the challenges of the day. So does your current morning routine make you feel powerful? Question number four, what are your typical thoughts and emotions associated with your current morning routine? You most likely have these cycles that you go through of the same thoughts, same emotions every morning based on your current routine. So what are those thoughts and emotions? Question number five, what time do you engage with the first human in your day? My belief is if you're not mentally set before that first human contact, then you just lost the most powerful chance to build power into your day. So again, the question, what time do you engage with the first human in your day? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Now listen, those questions are really important. So I've created a PDF for you to download to make it more actionable. Go to donovanowens.com forward slash questions and you can download this PDF for free. Now, what I did in addition is I also created another video that takes you deeper into how to create a morning routine that actually gives you power. All right, so 
I hope you've enjoyed this Time is Relentless uh, season so far. I uh, have more great content coming your way, but look, we want to make sure more people see this. So make sure you click subscribe on the channel, click the little bell that you see below, and I'll see you on the next episode.